Hello guys, welcome to next video on Kotlin programming. So in this video, we are going to discuss about if statement. Not actually if statement, it is called if as an expression. In Java, we used to call if is a statement. But in Kotlin, we say if as an expression. Set example, I have two variable a which is equals to 5 and another variable b which is equals to 2. So now I have one variable called max which is of data type int and now I am going to use if expression. Set example max is equals to if then within parenthesis I am going to write a is greater than b then it will print me a else it will print me b and I am going to print one statement say for example the max value is and I am going to write dollar sign then the variable name so this is called expression so I have one variable a which is equal to 5 and another variable b which is equal to 2 and I am going to check which value is the maximum so I am using an expression so max is equals to if a is greater than b then we are returning a else we are returning b then we are going to print this line of statement that is the maximum value is max so let's run the file so here you can see the maximum value is 5 so this way you can use if as an expression say for example if we have multi line of code between if and else statement then we have to write curly braces so for now let's delete this if a is greater than b then i will write this line of statement Say for example print ln then I am going to write this line of statement. Say for example the value of a is 5 or else I am going to print. So let's copy this and I am going to paste it here. So instead of the value of a is 5 so here let's write the value of b is 2. So let's run the file. So here you can see the value of a is 5 or you can also use it as an expression. So here you can write max which is equals to then here you can write say for example 5 and here you can write 2. Then we are going to print the maximum value. So print ln then here we are going to write maximum variable name. So when I run the file, we will get 5. So this way you can use if statement. So if you have only one expression, then you can use if as an expression. If you want to write multi quotes between if and else, then you have to use curly braces. Then after that, you have to write your statements. So thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye for now. See you next video.